How do you convert numbers into dates? In this video, we're going to have a look at six different functions that can do this with different levels of precision. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of filecats.co.uk. So you can see on the screen that I've declared six variables, year, month, day, hour, minute, second. So we have got the 3rd of April, 2025 at 12, 34 and 45 seconds. Now suppose I don't need it that precisely. Suppose I just wanted the date. Well, I can do this using the function date from parts. So date from parts allows me to have three variables, three arguments. Now I could just type them in like this. They don't actually have to be variables. They could be hard coded figures. So if I say as answer, we can see that we have a date of 2025 April the 3rd. Alternatively, I could use variables and I'm going to do so in this video because it makes it clearer that you put in year and then the month and then the day. Now, suppose that I wanted to put in the hour and the minutes. Well, unfortunately, this is not extendable. I can't just put in the hour and the minutes and then have the computer give me the answer. Date from part is giving me a date. It's not giving me anything else. However, if I change this from date from part to small date time from parts. So this will now give me a small date time. And you can see that there are five arguments or parameters, year, month, day, hour, minute. So notice we're going from the biggest to the smallest. So now we have got 2025, April the 3rd at 12.34. Now, if I wanted to extend that to go down to seconds and milliseconds, I can do that. So I just take away the small. So now I need seven arguments. I need the number of seconds and I need the number of milliseconds, so out of a thousand. So I'm going to put in 123. So here we've got our answer. Now it's interesting that we're using numbers, small integers here, because obviously you can do manipulations with them. Suppose I want the next day. Well, I can just add one to the day before it goes in. Very easy. However, I don't recommend you do that. Why? Well, let's just change this day from the 3rd to the 30th. So now we're looking at the 31st of April. Now that's fine for Excel and other languages, but unfortunately you have an overflow error. The computer can't handle a 31st of April. So don't do that. Use date add function instead and have a look at the, my video on that subject if you want to know how to use date add. Now the date time from part uses milliseconds. The next three that we're going to look at, they use a fraction of a second and the fraction depends on what you want to call it. So date time two from part requires an extra argument or parameter and this is the precision. So the number of decimal places this goes to. So if we want milliseconds, then we say three decimal places. So now we have exactly the same answer. However, we can take that, say, to five decimal places, in which case this will be zero, zero, one, two, three, or seven, when we now have zero, 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 one, two, three. So this is how many decimal places we have after the dot. So this is used in date time two from parts. This is also used in time from parts. So not time two, but just time from parts. So we get rid of the year, month and day. So now we are just down to our minute, second and fractions with the precision. Now there's then one final thing that we've got, one final function, and that is date time offset from parts. And this takes 10 parameters. So let's just copy what we've got already here. So the additional parameters we need are the hour offset and the minute offset. So for example, suppose I was in GMT, well that would be zero hours, zero minutes, also known as UTC. But suppose I wanted to be one hour afterwards, well the hour offset would be plus one and zero seconds. Now here's the oddity. We don't put it at the end. This isn't an ever expanding list. We put it here just before the precision. So if I wanted G 
GMT or UTC, then I'll put zero hours, zero minutes offset here. So that gets me that there. If I wanted one hour afterwards, I could change that. If I wanted, say, Eastern Standard Time, I'll put that to minus five hours. Suppose I wanted Indian time, then I'll change that to four hours and 30 minutes. So the time offset doesn't change the actual time here. It just says where we are. So this tells me that I'm somewhere in India and the time is 12.34 and 45 seconds. So we have got six different functions there. So first of all, we have got date from parts, which requires three arguments, year, month, day. Small date time from parts requires the hours and minutes as well. Date time from parts requires year, month, day, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. And then all the others require fractions and precision as opposed to milliseconds. So that's time from part, date time two from parts, and date time offset from parts, which also require the hour offset and the minute offset before the precision. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button. And why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.